I've got a purchase order here that I'm just about to receive so let's go and receive it so what normally happens is that the receipt will be done so the on hand inventory will be adjusted and this will also post through to the ledger so I can see my ledger and I can also see my sub ledger details here now this happens in real time in terms of the time that I post the purchase order um, both the imagery and the general ledger are updated. Now there is a setting in the general ledger if we go across to the general ledger parameters there is a setting which is the batch transfer rules so this setting actually controls when that general ledger posting actually happens so let's have a look at how this works so if I add a new record here I'm going to select the document which is for example my product receipt so this is only enabled for the documents that are in the source document uh, framework so these ones that are in this list essentially so if I pick the product receipt I'm gonna say scheduled batch I've actually got three options but asynchronous is not uh, implement so it's basically synchronous so basically you got synchronous and then uh, scheduled batch so I'm gonna say summarize no and you can have a notification group and alert will be sent when the um, entries are, uh, are there so I'm just gonna say document product receipt and I'm going to schedule in a batch. Now at this stage we need to actually go and set up a batch process to catch that and post it. So we're going to go and create a batch transfer uh, to the subledger journal. So this is period activity in the general ledger. So I'm going to create this. And then I'm going to say for that document. So if you have a, a general ledger parameter rule for the batch transfer, then you need to make sure that you've got a batch job. So you can either set it up for all or you can set them up for specific documents if you've got a different interval that you want to post these uh, different types of documents. So we're going to just set one up for example the product receipt and you can put a period there for example but in this case I'm going to leave it open I'm going to enable it for batch processing if you don't tick this then um, uh, it's not going to uh, submit the job. So what we might want to do is set the occurrence recurrence in terms of when it's going to post. So I'm going to say no in date otherwise it's only ever going to do once because that's the default and in this example I'm just going to set it for five minutes just to give me enough time to show you the effect on this but that would the recurrence would depend on your infrastructure and when you really wanted to post it when you wanted to see in the ledger that could be an hour that could be overnight for example so that really depends on your own circumstances or when you want them to post so it's on five I'm gonna say OK and I'm gonna submit it so this will tell me that the batch job is created and it's in the queue so where do I find the queue so if I go over to system and administration I can see the batch jobs here likewise if you go across to the area page under home you can see your batch jobs that you've submitted so this is the batch job that I created and if you wanted to see the details you can go to uh, view tasks so you can see the tasks and the recurrence here okay so it's going to be sitting there waiting so let's go and um, see the effect on this so I'm going to go to accounts payable going to go into my purchase orders and we'll go and put in a new purchase order We'll just uh, confirm it and let's go and receipt it. So, okay, so you'll see at this stage that I've got my purchase all posted, but if I look at the voucher, I don't have a voucher. And that's because if we go across to the general ledger, you'll see under inquiry subledger journal entries not yet transferred and we have an entry sitting here which is this product receipt so that's not going to get posted to the ledger until that batch runs so it's sitting there waiting to be posted so you'll see um, the inventory is on hand 
so if we have a look at that item if we drill down this is purchase order 40 if we look at the details on that and look at the transactions so I'll see received 40 so my on hand is adjusted so I can you know use that in production or what have you but the receipt financially is not uh, yet posted into the ledger at this stage so I'll pause the video and wait for five minutes and then we'll see the effect on the posting okay so if I have a look at my receipt now on the purchase order if I have a look at the vouchers we'll see that it's actually been posted through to the ledger now there is another setting um, I'm just going to pause the video and I'll put another purchase order in, and I'll show you another tool that you have available okay I have another purchase order it's number 41 sitting in and again I've posted the receipt but you'll see it's not posted through to the ledger so if we go over to the ledger and we do the sub ledger journal entries not yet transferred you'll see here if you hit this button here it will actually process that particular entry and post it for you so if there was some particular entry that um, you were really waiting through to, to get through to the ledger and you didn't want to wait to the batch to run for example if that batch is set up to run overnight you could hit that button which will transfer it so you'll see now my purchase order transaction has actually been posted through to the ledger so that's a quick run through of the general ledger batch transfer rules parameter and again it really depends on your circumstances in terms of what you want is the timing difference between the operational posting and the accounting posting but it's a good tool to experiment with if you want to separate um, that posting sequence and tune it for performance if you don't really need to see the details in the ledger immediately then um, you may not need to post it during the middle of the day so you could attune the performance of your system by adjusting that extra general ledger posting so that's the batch transfer 